All right, all right, all right. What is going on, you guys? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vibra. It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I'm coming in here with a special treat. I don't know why I was just felt moved today to do a collective reading for the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. So I'm going to go ahead and put Capricorn, uh, Aquarius, and Pisces on hold for a minute. Uh, and I'm going to record Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine just to see what's going on with the collective. I have not done those readings in a very long time. So, you know, it's a little treat for us. So we're going to get into the tea yee yee with me yee yee today, okay? So um, I want to thank every last one of you guys for coming in and, you know, showing me some love. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of my babies who have liked, shared, subscribed, and clicked this video. If there's anyone that would like to book a personal private reading with me, or if you want to send some love to the page, if this video resonated with you, gave you some type of insight, and you just want to give some support to the page go ahead and click the description box of this video or you can click the about tab on my youtube page it gives my pricing list to book with me the best way to connect with me to book a reading is to send me a message on instagram messenger if you don't have instagram messenger just email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com and we're gonna go ahead and take care of everything all right so um like we normally do before we get into any type of energy, we always give Father God, the universe, uh, whatever it is that you want to call him, praise and acknowledgement. So um, if you wouldn't mind bowing your head with me, let's just go ahead and just, you know, give Father God his roses right now. So, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the divine feminine, Father God. We're here to get a uh, divine message and enlightenment and enrichment you know our daily bread i miss doing my uh divine feminine daily bread readings um i might need to pick that up and bring that back into rotation as well father god i just feel inspired today and i feel inspired to um get a message for you for the collective for the divine feminine um we thank you so much for how you've just been reaching down in our life and you've just been rotating you know, you know how sometimes you got meat and stuff in your deep freezing. You got to rotate that food. So, you know, what that's basically telling me is like, it's so much being given right now that you're having to rotate the, 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 the stuff that you just recently got that were blessings. More blessings are being piled on top of that. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, before I can even enjoy that, let me take, let me enjoy that first blessing. So it's like you're rotating it around the, these new blessings you're having to, you know, put that on in the, in the pot. And, you know, and you're going to have to pick from the bottom where the first blessing originated at. So I just feel like there's a rotation of just like blessings coming into your life. It's just like in circular motion, one after the other, one after another. And it just keep rolling and just keep rolling. You ever heard of that saying, the good times rolling? You know, so it's like. Damn, y'all like shit. There was one blessing that God gave you that you just like, fuck that shit. I ain't going all the way to the first one. I might want to pick in the middle because... <laughs> look, that's, that'd be the good part, the middle, right? But anyway, let me stop. Uh, Father God, I just thank you. I just thank you so much for just pouring just divine energy into our life. Just giving us, you know, discernment. And in just wisdom and self-belief in ourselves, Father God, we just thank you. We thank you for just nourishing our body, getting us thick and healthy, uh, helping our hair grow, just helping us expand throughout this, you know, current dimension. Uh, give us the guidance that we're looking for today for the divine feminine. I'm not going to keep this prayer too long. In Jesus' name, we pray. Give us guidance for the collective. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, so... I'm going to do these readings just like I was doing all the rest of them. We're going to do finance and career over here. And then we got love over here. All right, ladies. So let's see what we got going on over here in the general energy and finance and career for my divine feminine. Let's see what we got. All right. I don't know. I, I'm hearing the golden egg. Now, if the golden egg pops out. <laughs> I'm going to shit myself because I'm like, ain't no way <laughs> shit is going to point like that. But I'm just hearing like the golden egg. You know, what's that? What was that? The Jack and the Beanstalk? They be trying to find that goose that laid them golden eggs, honey. Mm -mm. Okay. Now, let's 
listen. Oh, you did. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. You got the pilgrimage. Yeah, you got the pilgrim. The pilgrim. Hmm. What am I getting from this? I don't even think I've ever got this card before. You got the number 20 up there. Why am I hearing somebody was drinking bottles of Douce? <laughs> you know, 420 was the other day. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. If anybody was making having a little pilgrimage over to their friend's house over to 420 and it was drinking Douce, shots out to you. Cause shit, bitch, I'm with you. Like, hey, pull it up. Okay, pull it up, pull it up. Let it all fall out. I need to see what they're saying about the pilgrimage. I'm saying pilgrimage. It's the pilgrim uh, card. I need to see what they're saying about this because I've never even got this card before. It says the pilgrim, honey. The pilgrim, the wanderer, the traveler, the apprentice. For the pilgrim, an onward journey is always an inward journey. The archetypal wanderer seeks wisdom, experience, and meaning in the fur in the furthest reaches of the globe and the deepest regions of the spirit. Others will wander when the pilgrim will settle down and claim more of a conventional life. But the pilgrim knows that the heart belongs in motion. I was saying something about rotation, like circular, anyway. Where there is motion, there is freedom, expansion, and growth, responsibility, social conventions, and logistic lulls that, uh, and logistics, that lulls us to sleep. And soon the pilgrim becomes veiled in the slumber of the day to day. Yet when this archetype awakens, it rallies our senses to adventure and it leads us out the door towards a new reality. With the pilgrim at your side, you will never lack courage, nor do you need um, every amenity. Travel light, travel soon, your spirit needs it. When this is in light, it means learns, grows, adapts, and studies. When in the dark, it means that they're aloof, non-committal, and flaky. Okay? Ooh, the wanderer, the traveler. I feel like this got kicked off because you see that 20 is right there. Like, this got kicked off in 2020. And I love all of those colors. That's basically telling me you are living your life loud and in living color. With that eye beat in the middle, I, you it's like you see, you know your inner truth. And remember I was saying something in the prayer. I was saying something in the prayer about the rotations, about the blessings being rotated. Just everything just being moving around, going in a circular motion. Um, I feel like 2020 really kicked this off for you. Even amongst all of the chaos, because 2020 was a very crazy year for a lot of people but i feel like regardless you still kept the good times rolling you like blessings still kept coming into you in an abundance where you were able to rotate things around and keep things at a steady momentum and keep things rolling in your life um throughout everything that we've experienced we have a certain set of discernment wisdom and just Intuity within ourselves. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but um, we know how to. We know when we're being exposed to certain elements that just does not fit us. We have no problem with picking up a move. You know, no problem with picking up a move. So I like this pilgrim, and this is telling me that you're not sitting around no more. You're not waiting. It's like you're going out and seizing the opportunities. Like, even like I said, 420, why the hell am I sitting in the house for 420? Shit, this is the smoker's goddamn holidays. I'm about to go out. Listen, this is a very generous day. I'm about to go get me a bag. Look, a little 20 twin twin, nigga. Okay, nigga, did you put in on this 20 twin twin, baby? We about to get that gasolina, okay? Who got that gasolina? I got the gasolina. Look, look, we about to 
to get that premium petrol, honey. All right. So I definitely feel and um, what is this here? You see how like this person is like grasping something. You see how like they're grasping something. You know, ooh, what's that? Uh, <laughs> you know what just popped in my head, y'all? That meme of um, who is it? Um, uh, oh my God, what is that Muslim guy? Um, that. He was with Malcolm X and all of that stuff. His name is slipping my mind. Oh my gracious. But it's that picture of him and he's standing there. He's smiling. He's just like, you know, <laughs> he got that smile on his face. And they, it's, <laughs> what is his name? Oh my God. Why is his name slipping me? Oh my God. My black heart is about to be rebuked. Oh my name. Oh <laughs> my God. What is his name? Anyway, let me just keep on going. Um. Ooh, and it's trying to come out. I just, I can't. I can't. I'm just going to let it go. But I feel like those hands being clasped right there, it's like you reaching a point where it's like you're receiving something pleasant. It's like, again, like, oh, my God, I can't believe it. Thank you so much. Do, do y'all do that when y'all get something and y'all very happy and someone's giving something? It's like you're receiving some type of generosity. You're like, oh, my God, thank you. Thank you. Like, that's what I'm getting. Isn't that what y'all see? Isn't that what y'all see? So it's like, thank God that we're just not sitting around, sitting. Move around. Move some things around. Move some things around. The pilgrim. And again, like that number 20 is like really sticking out to me. I feel like 2020 picked up um, kicked this shit off. And I've been saying this for a while to everyone that I've met and everyone that I've been meeting. I've never got this. This is Michael Bloomberg. You got Michael Bloomberg for the success oracle card. I've been saying this. This is the beginning of the best part of our life. Everything before was just lessons. Everything before is just lessons. Like I said, don't be tripping. Listen, it was just 420. Y'all go and sit back and enjoy y'all fucking life. Y'all don't have nothing to stress about. That's why I look out. Listen, shout out to all my weed smokers out there. I, look, we don't be sitting around stressing about nothing that we can't goddamn control. On period. Relax, man. Relax. Can you say it with me? Can you, eh, eh, relax, bruh. Relax, Slim. Relax. It says, take your paper route in new directions. If you make headlines, own them. <laughs> okay? Okay? Copyright infringement. Where's my money? Okay, honey? If you put my name upon some shit, y'all gonna run me some money. How many of y'all own your name? Hello? 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 Look, if you, you don't know, you better know. Okay, listen. If you make the headlines on them, count on numbers to amount to something. Ooh. And then you got the pilgrim card here. Take your paper route in new directions. If you make headlines on them. That's like standing up in your shit, bruh. Like, yeah, I did that shit. I'm, I'm, it, to me, it's like taking credit for your work a little bit. And don't be scared to move some shit around a little bit. Like, you can take your blessing that you started right here and move it somewhere else. It may be lucrative. You know what I'm saying? So, if I'm looking at a pile of invitations or offer letters or something... Don't just go all the way at the bottom with the first offer that came to you. Remember I said something about you might want to pick out of the middle. It's something about, it's something that's in the middle. It's something that's in the middle, you guys. Don't just go with the first offer. Don't just go with the most recent offer. Shuffle them papers around, rotate them papers around, look at everything, and I feel like the correct offer is going to be right there in the middle. Your whatever you're doing business wise, just with yourself, period. It's like you're going in a new direction. 
every one of those dollars is going to add up every like that it don't even have to do with just like money it can even do with compliments that's just like you could just be moving your life in a new direction in the sense that you don't hang around nobody that ain't positive no more people that are not trying to do things with themselves like you could have just completely just cleaned off your whole shelf in regards to your friends list and the people that you have around you are in healthy relationships they are in marriages they may not be perfect but they survived some shit and they can sit down and give you like actual tangible advice about how to have a healthy relationship because you can see throughout everything that they went through you can see the love do you understand what i'm saying because people be thinking everything's supposed to be perfect nah i need to be around some people that done survived the storm and came out that motherfucker winning okay all right, winning. Y'all remember that shit? Winning. Okay, came out that bitch. Winning. Okay, I'm kind of getting. Is that is that man's name George? Not not George Clooney. Whatever that man is, that his he was on um drugs. With Robert Downey Jr. Jr. Remember what Robert Down Downey Jr. He was down bad. He was on drugs real bad, and then he did the turnaround like no other. Like shout out to Robert Downey Jr. That's a strong ass man. He was on drugs down bad, and then he came back and said, "You know what? Y'all gonna put some respect on my name if you gonna make headlines." On on that shit yeah i was down bad but look at me now y'all got look at me now hey look at me now hey oh hey i'm getting paper listen robert downey Jr. and i guarantee you every last one of y'all watch them iron man one two and three the uh, oh, every last with that is a turnaround like i've never seen before if people gonna talk about you own it but give them some, let's give them something to talk about. Let's give them something to talk about. Show these motherfuckers how to move some shit around, y'all. Come on now. Come on, I like that. I definitely like that. Take your paper route on a new direction. So that's basically telling me, it's like, don't forget where you came from. But if it's like, I feel like you can't serve the same industry forever. You're going to have to expand, you know. So if you like maybe expanding your shit into the urban community or adding a column in your paper or whatever, where it's um, maybe about environmentalism or just branching out whatever you talk about or whatever you're doing with yourself. Going in a different direction because I definitely feel like it'll open things up for you. And that's probably what you're going to end up making headlines about once you start branching out a little bit more. Okay, come on, Queen of Motherfucking Pentacles, bitch. You better stop playing. <laughs> yes, ma'am, Miss Pam. Okay, so you got the Queen of Pentacles. You already know what the Queen of Pentacles is about. Queen of Pentacles is about making sure th oh, okay hold on because <laughs> they are screaming in my ear saving money saving money saving money <laughs> look no more frivolous spending listen no more frivolous spending saving money saving money saving money listen because it's like this is the thing about this Queen of Pentacles right here. I feel like this Queen of Pentacles, um, I want to say she might have been having a little bit of fun with herself, a little bit. May have been coming up out of that purse because what I'm honestly getting here is like if it's something that you really want and if you want it to go right, it's like you're going to have to come out of your purse and invest in it. So I don't know if right now you guys are in a state where it's like, I'm comfortable. I'm sitting on a nice little stack. I want to branch off. And again, Michael Bloomberg, hmm, his ass definitely is about the numbers. It's about money. But if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Count on the money to amount to something. So before you just jump out there and again i feel like your whole thing is about saving money and making sure that you're making lucrative investments if you guys have been 
spending frivolously. I think you guys need to curtail that, like curve it, like seriously. Because I don't know if y'all been screaming to me, save your money, save your money, save your money, because you're knowing in the future, I need to take this, I need to take my paper route in a new direction. If I'm making headlines, I need to own them. So I'm going to give them something to talk about this time. Count on the, on the numbers to amount to something. So it's like every person that looks at you, like even if it's like bad media sometimes, it's like you can still turn it around where, okay, I got everybody looking at me because of this dumb shit right now. But if I turn the page and give them something, that as long as I keep them talking about, as long as I'm taking whatever negative things that people are saying about me and I'm turning it around and I'm making it my testimony, that's all that matters. I'm not going to let nobody see me fail. Right? I'm not going to let no opportunities pass me by because I'm ever too frivolous with my spending and I don't have anything <laughs> to keep what I'm doing afloat. That's a message for somebody. Because there's someone that is spending too much money and the the books ain't, ain't it's not adding up. There's some money missing. There's not enough money to do whatever it is that you want to do because y'all was out doing too much because you thought you were sitting on a nice coin. You was, okay? <laughs> you was, all right? But again, like I said, the queen of pentacles could be someone that likes luxury and all of that stuff and saving their money because they damn sure know that I like nice things. I like to travel I like to enjoy myself, and if I'm going to put my name on something, if I'm going to stamp something, I'm definitely going to have to come out of my motherfucking pocket. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to spend this money. I'm going to have to invest. So if I want whatever it is that I'm giving to to give back to me, I have to make sure that I'm making a wise investment. So... Make sure that you have the money to spend, but make sure that you research what you're spending your money on. Because I don't want anybody to go through a lesson. Do you understand what I'm saying? Make sure that you're curtailing your spending and that you're not overspending so that you can invest in what really needs to be invested in. You're a very smart woman. You're a very generous woman. Stop giving to people that can take care of themselves. Close the bank. If they ain't in a predicament to give to you, Later on down the line, stop giving the motherfuckers, okay? I'm sorry. I'm the hell sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Count on the numbers to amount to something. If you're giving more than you're receiving, that ain't... I, mm -mm. No. I love that Queen of Pentacles energy too. Oh, and I love that pretty white rabbit around there. Like, I am kind of getting like a bouncing around or something. Bouncing around, bouncing around, bouncing. Okay, come on, Lemonade. With that rabbit right there, I'm like getting like very springy, very joyous, like enjoying things going from one interview to another going from one um it's like com they're saying community drive you got the healer card i don't know if like whatever you guys are doing if it's like you're bouncing around from place to place with this healer card i don't know if you're helping people you're giving people advice you're helping people, um, they're saying home remedy. It's They're saying whatever it is, you can make it good. What, I don't know if this is making any sense. That's just like homemade chicken noodle soup. It heals the soul. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um... It's like something that has a very earthly aspect to it. Like whoever this is, is a natural healer. Um, 
they're, okay, they're saying folklores and stories and stuff like that. It's something like even with children I'm getting, it's like, um, they're saying something like with depression, uh, like teas, soups, elixirs, like knowing how, like herbal medicine, um, something. It's like, um, I don't know if you're having to like create an app where people can purchase shit from you on the app and then you drive around and you do like a delivery system or something. But it's something that you do because like the, the Queen of Pentacles is she's a cook. But she can also be a teacher. She can also be a doctor. You know what I'm saying? She could very much so be a doctor. And then, oh, I'm just recognizing the snake is down there. Do y'all see the rabbit and the snake? You know, the snake represents wisdom. The snakes, they shed their skin. They're constantly growing, shedding their skin. So it's like, to me, I don't know if it's like... Because I said folklore and elixirs. Something, oh, they're saying something about shedding weight, bouncing around, exercising, um, shedding old skin, shedding old energies or something like that. Like healthy, like more of healthy living, sustainable living, something like that. Teaching people how to be more active, how to have a more healthier lifestyle. Something. It's like this is something that you've always planned to do. I feel like you just didn't know how to do it. Um, I don't know if you didn't know how to invest in it or you didn't know about how to invest in it. It's something where... I feel like the way you're crunching the numbers to you, it looks like the books is showing you that the shit is going to be upside down. It's like it's something that you want to do and you've always planned on doing it, but I want to be lucrative. I don't want to spend more in trying to create the product than what I'm receiving for providing services for people. Uh, with this pilgrim, it's like I... feel like whatever it is, it's like instead of you having like an office or like a centralized space where you're doing whatever this is, you may be able to save more money if you move around and provide the services for your clients in their home. Like even if you're teaching yoga, which could be exercise, and then you have the meal plan with it. And then you have like, I feel like... um Especially because, oh, but they're saying COVID. Oh, there's so much stuff to like factor in. Like that's where I'm kind of getting with this four discs and this two of discs right here. It's like you want to invest in stuff, but it's like something, it's like some confusion here where it's like you need everything to be put together accurately. Like you're a number cruncher, you're about the bottom line. You know what I'm saying? In this situation, I just, I am feeling some level of confusion but you're going to figure out how to take this in the right direction but you need to crunch these numbers and get something to balance out like balance the books before you do anything but it's like you got a good remedy you have a good uh you're saying a focus group it's like you have a good focus group or something and it's like how to get it to make money. It's like you could be doing a lot of shit for free and you're not recouping what your the benefit that you're giving to people. It's time to take shit in another di direction. I know this shit is probably just sounding like a whole bunch of blah, but to somebody, to whoever this message is for, they understand what this is, what I'm trying to say. Okay. So you got the blonde woman. And then you also, you have the eight of hearts. So the eight of hearts is when you're getting, uh, it's like you're getting comfortable. Like, it's like you're really getting comfortable with yourself. Like, this is mutual affection. This is uh, mutual attention. Um where benefits us all. Everyone is in a loving, creative space. Like, this is like you're in a place where you will want to call it home. Everything has a perfect rhythm. Everything is 
I want to say very supple and just <laughs> like very giving environment. It's it's a, it's an environment where it's a place that you're learning to love yourself and to get comfortable in like the state that you're in. So I don't know if this is like a focus group where even though you don't have something it's like you still have something. I can teach you how to take what you have to move things around to make more resources for yourself. But it's like you got to have your that inner love for yourself. You have to be comfortable with yourself and starting from the bottom and working your way to the top. <sighs> Let me see. The four of hearts means four of hearts, four of hearts means, no, it's not the four of hearts, the fucking eight of hearts, my bad. The eight of hearts means mutual feelings, happiness, comfort, sharing with one another, togetherness, working together. Working with one another, a couple, an emotional connection, emotional balance, warmth, enjoyment, relaxation, protection. So, like I said, it's something where it's a mutual giving. It's like, I'm helping you, you're helping me. We're helping everyone feel comfortable and to be in the correct environment with each other type of thing like that. Um... I feel like you're comfortable with who you are and what you're doing. It's about making money from it. And it's like if you're going to be known for doing this, either being this healer or whatever it is. Because every person that says something about you, every person that speaks on you, every person that gives you praise. Um, and it, with the pilgrim, I feel like the word is moving around or whatever it is. Like, if it's moving around, if you make headlines on them, and people are talking about you, and people are talk, uh, 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 expressing to other people how much of an amazing healer that you are, that you helped them do this, or blah, say, blah, say, blah, or that you have an amazing skill or talent in something, and you, they need to reach out to you for, for whatever reason. Like, don't shortchange yourself. Don't give whatever for free. If you're making headlines, like, own it. Count on the numbers to amount to something. Even if it's just one person right now. Like, even if it's just one person right now. The same energy that you gave that person to make them comfortable, to make them love themselves, to make them enjoy themselves, to look at where they're standing and like appreciate it. Make something out of it. Help it grow. You know what I'm saying? If you can do that for one person and the word can spread, it can reach many ears. You just got to find out. You got to find out. How to make a perfect penny from it. Like don't continue to do something for free. It says you have the spiritual gift of healing. And desire to share it with others. But. It's like you still have to take care of yourself. Especially if you're like making some type of elixirs. Or whatever the hell it is. Like please don't like. Please like make sure you're being compensated for your services. You don't want to be the person where like. Oh yeah, call so and so. She'll come to your house. She'll do it for free. Don't worry. Don't you ain't got to pay nothing. You don't want to be that girl. You know what I'm saying? Like your shit gonna be in the red. You ain't gonna have no money to pay your bills. You ain't gonna have no gas to get to your next client. Cause you like no, that's not the way that you want to do. Let's get into love. Tell me what's going on in love for my divine feminine. Give me two cards in love. What's going on with the collective? Oh, you got the attraction card. I like it. I like it a lot. Give me one more. For my divine feminine. What is this? Deception. Girl, why the hell, y'all? We can't ever just have something good in the name of Jesus. Why? 
shit, even over here in this, it's just like, I don't like it when the Four of Pentacles is, is in the reverse. I don't like it. So, let me get these other cards out here so we can put the story all the way together. That attraction card right there, it could be someone that you're dealing with that is extremely, let me put that back, is extremely attractive. And I feel like the person means well or anything like that. Um, it could have, you could be deceiving them. Or they could be deceiving you. I don't know why I just seen it. It's like I'm I'm like getting don't touch me. It's like I'm attracted to you, but I might not want to have sex with you. I might not want to be intimate with you. Um It's like you guys might not necessarily be believing what the person is saying all the way. So it's like I don't I want to get to know you first. Like I'm attracted to you, but I feel like I need a little bit more than that. Like, before I just go jump in the damn bed with you or whatever. Like, it's got to be more than just attraction. I don't know. I kind of get like, all right, chill a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be touching all on me. Give me um two cards to clarify attraction and deception, please. For my divine feminine. Thank you. You got the five of pentacles. They're saying it's like reaching too far but not gaining anything. Um, the Five of Pentacles, this is someone that's like giving me uh, some type of sickness or something like that. They're saying needing aid in bed or something like that. So I don't know if this is someone that... Because they're saying needing aid in bed. To me, the only reason I could be thinking about is like erectile dysfunction. Like someone may need to spend a little bit of money. Just like they need a bed aid. It's after that or like someone has insomnia and they can't sleep or something like that. It's, it has something to do with... They're saying sleep deprivation. They're saying like reaching for something but can't get it. I don't know why I'm like looking for this in like the sexual. um, Because I don't know like the five of pentacles to when it hit me it's saying medical. So it's either like after someone isn't they're attractive but they're not like it's deceptive. Because this person could look very good but just like medically they could just not be well endowed or something. It's like they don't have that far reach. They don't have the tool, the equipment. It's just like, you know, like you still be feeling, it's like, like your body is still throbbing. It's like you're not satisfied. You're not cured of like your sexual desire or something. It's like they don't, I, I don't know why I'm feeling, it's like I have a, they don't have the far reach or it's like a reptile dysfunction. It's like, well, they need something that will medically enhance the situation for it to get where it needs to go for you. It's like you're attractive, but that is very deceptive because like this is not going to work for me. Like I need uh, uh, like it's like I'm reaching like I keep it's like I don't know. I'm, I, it's like you're reaching the climax, but it's like you never get there. Like I don't know. <laughs> like it's like this is not an enjoyment for me it's just not it's not going to work and now y'all are saying it's like it's time for a discovery or something different it's like y'all are saying like I'm not going to let um, I'm not going there. Okay. It's like, I'm not going to give into feeling powerless or being destroyed by this. You know what I'm saying? Like the person looked good, but it just wasn't the right thing for me. So it's like, I'm just going to keep searching. Like I'm not going to get all beat down and hung up on, on one thing with one person. Do you understand what I'm saying? I feel like maybe you might've done that shit before, but it's just like, whatever this person was advertising to me was deceiving like this person has been talking a lot of shit like oh yeah I can hang you up over the ceiling with my dick I can do this I can do that like no you can't like why are you lying <laughs> why are you lying okay so you got the magician in the reverse Jesus Louises and then you got the eight of torches in the reverse so like again this is like all lies and propaganda like Propaganda and lies. Like this per this person could have been um 
like really really putting on like talking a whole bunch of shit in the beginning like a quick talker but you cannot show and prove you do not have the skills that you boasted and bragged about and that you possess like your magic wand ain't as big as fucking nine ten inches like you fucking lying like bitch you barely have eight inches of dick it's just <laughs> it's like a, 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 a quick swift like it's the because the eight of wands to me is like someone perpetuating a lie like gossip um even slander like someone speaking ill on somebody's name or whatever like so you could be telling some people like this motherfucker said that they had motherfucking nine ten inches this bitch barely got eight inches like i wasn't satisfied with what this person said this person is a manipulator this person is a liar this person is a schemer this person knew exactly what they were doing when they were lying to me they were just trying to like you know run scams on me or whatever it is it's like They're like really saying big schemer. Like it's just like all fraud, all fraud, all illegitimate activities. Like this person could be wrapped up in scandal or things could be coming out about this person. Um, Cause to me, I'm getting like someone that thinks that they're really good at something and you're really not because people talk about you. Little do you know? So I don't know if there's people that, have been coming out of woodwork in droves, like telling you information about this person and what they did to other person. You're like, it's just, uh-uh. It says someone is wearing a false mask. Someone is wearing a, a, yeah. Yeah, someone is wearing a mask in this relationship. They're not who they perceive their self to be they're not as skilled they're not as talented they're not as gifted in bed like whatever it was it was a letdown and i i feel like it destroyed uh the outcome of the situation like they, they don't have enough um resources skills or strengths whatever it is to prove their self to you for you to want to continue to communicate with them like the momentum just died out very quickly. Like things could have started off very hot and heavy and intense. And you were falling under the guise of whatever this perception that they were giving to you. But I don't know if it was just like the sex or just the things that they were saying to you that they could do. It just wasn't adding up with this pilgrim card. You're definitely moving on. It's like I don't sit here and like joke or waddle around and bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like you're not like the five of pentacles is something lacking. It's something that's not there. Like I'm attracted to you, but there's something that's fucking off. Do you understand? It's something that. I don't know if this person can just be unemployed right now. This person just um, may constantly be asking you for something. You may also are always having to put out. Um, or if this person got put out, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't know why I... I Okay, so I'm getting, like, they're saying someone's sneaking under the bushes trying to catch an apple. I don't know why I'm seeing, like, there's someone going to someone's garden, stealing people's fruits and shit like that out of people's garden. is because they don't have any fruits of themselves or they don't have a home. I'm kind of getting a thief card. I'm kind of getting, like, a thief. Like a thief. Sorry if y'all hear my daughter playing the flute in the background. So you got the cameras. Look, I, I did not say someone snooping in someone's fucking garden or something like that. I, I feel like it's like you could have this person under surveillance. I feel like you might have put like some cameras or something up in your yard, in your garden. You feel like there's been like a garden thief. Someone's been in your garden stealing some shit. It's like your fruits, your vegetables, or even just how beautiful you are. How I feel like how comfortable because again, you got the Queen of Pentacles. Remember the Queen of Pentacles, she's a very um beautiful person. She has a very lush garden. She she has a lot of animals. She has a lot of children. She, You can always smell food coming from her house. Like, 
she's the shit. She lives her life very comfortably. So, like, this could be someone that doesn't have much, doesn't have anything, doesn't really have anything to offer, that's coming to you with some type of, like, defective, dilapidated energy. And they see all of these fruits in your gardens, and it's like, can I have one? And it's like, no, because <laughs> you're lying. You're being deceptive. Like you told me that you can come over here and that you could fix my plumbing and that you could, um, you know, you, you would come and mow my grass on the weekend and that you would do this and that you were skilled and you were capable of doing this. And all of this shit was lies. So like, it's almost as if, Someone just lied just to get up in this person's garden just to get close to them to be able to steal the fruit because they ain't have nothing. So, and again, they're, they're, they're going, they're, they're having me go back to this thing about being over giving and not protecting your resources and like you know what i'm saying like trying to heal people and like being over consumed with focusing on the powers of your gift and knowing what your gift and what it can produce and how you give to people but not thinking about how you're giving to yourself don't let people Sit there and try to suck you dry. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because whatever you give should come back around. You see how that affinity sign is. It's like if I teach you how to do this. Like you should be able to pass it along. And come and give me information. And we should help each other out. This and being in the reverse. It's like you're putting out too much. And you're not receiving anything back. You're going to end up in the red. You know what I'm saying? And I definitely feel like you have other shit that you were holding on to your money for. You was holding on to these fruits for. You were like you were growing these fruits to take care of your family, to, to, to be able to entertain your friends, to be able to do this, this and that with it. Not to give it to some fucking bum. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if you guys are putting cameras like surveillance or you got surveillance footage or some type of footage or some pictures or something of like some motherfucker snooping around in your yard like trying to steal a basket of fruit or whatever. Like no, if you come back around here doing that shit, I got I got camera footage now. Or I right, look, I get that shit on my ring, bitch. You're going to jail. So, I don't know if this is someone that needs to put up some camera surveillance or something like that. But I definitely feel like it's like some beggar, some borrower, some low vibrational, bottom feeding. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> like, I definitely. It says reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learning from the past, making memories. I don't know. Like, is someone trying to. Like, is this for keepsake or something? I don't fucking know. But you're not going to get no enjoyment or you're not going to reap the benefit off of anything that I've produced when you give nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it got to be far more than attraction or pilgrim. I will move on. Because this is something where I will overgive and I'm going to focus my energy on trying to heal someone. And you're not really trying to heal. You're not really trying to do anything for yourself. You're not really a balanced person. There is mutual attraction here, clearly. But at the same time, I want to make sure anything that I do is beneficial to me. You know what I'm saying? So whoever it is, it's like you might want to stop the lying. Because whatever... It's like whoever it is needs, and then you got the axe. So, look, I'm trying to tell y'all, look, Divine Feminine ain't dealing with it. Ain't dealing with it. It's like as soon as Divine Feminine feels like you're lying, you're not doing what you said you can do, things are not adding up. Like, no, I like attention, but not any attention. I like to, no, 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 no. And then the heartbroken card just came out as well. So, I mean, I feel like um, y'all are saying that this person had just destructive energy, like did not want to do anything for thy itself. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I can't. Ha it's like the divine feminine learned from the past not to have people like that around them. You know what I'm saying? It's more than just being attracted to someone. You have to really look beyond what people are trying to give you on the surface. 
They want you to feed into and to give into this perception that they're giving to you on the surface. What is the core of that motherfucker? And I'm going to tell you something else. If there's anybody, especially if you're being triggered by whoever this new energy is, because this is new energy. This is not someone that you're wasting time with at all. Because you already see I'm going to end up putting out more than I will ever fucking receive. And this reminds you of something. This reminds you of something. And that's why I'm saying it's like, it's like having seen footage or something like that. Snooping in your garden trying to take something from you. Trying to gain something when they lack everything. And that's not what you're going to do. You, you're not going to come around doing the most with the least. That's definitely. Like, have y'all ever been around somebody that is doing the most with the fucking least? Like, you don't even have shit. Don't be coming around here causing all this drama. Looking for a handout. What, like, no, we're definitely. No. Listen, it might it might hurt me, but listen, it's going to hurt you a little bit more than it hurt me. Get the fuck on. I just feel like it's just irritating to the divine feminine because I feel like you are like really attracted to this one. But at the same time, with this pilgrim card, I got to move in another direction. It's like I don't waste my time anymore. Like on fucking period. On period. So the ax means a breakup, separation, stopping the pattern. Hello. Hello, ladies. See, this is how I notice my OGs up in here. Because, like, listen, if there is a will, there is a way. You're not the only motherfucking attractive person out there. And a lot of fuck niggas, they come very fucking at you. Listen, the devil will throw the... <laughs> listen, Okay. You are not the only attractive person out here. I'm not about to sit up here and get my panties all in the bunch for, uh-uh. No. Ha heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. Listen, I'll give, give you 48 hours. I might feel bad for about 48 hours, but that's all you get. I got to move on. We're too grown for this, Divine Feminine. You know what I'm saying? I even feel like this is cut out, cutting y'all cutting out being being all heartbroken and shit. Y'all over that shit. If it didn't work out, it didn't work out. Why am I about to sit here and cry about this shit? How many of y'all have cut that shit out? So I feel like y'all are just moving on as like, I already see you for which. Why am I going to cry about this shit? The truth going to come out anyway. Might as well just tell the truth and let the truth set you free. What the fuck is you trying for? Nigga, you broke. You ain't got no money. You over here looking for a handout. Like, come on now. It's time for me to take this paper route in a new direction, baby. You got me fucked up. Okay? Listen, you might be telling the motherfucker, listen, now, if you make, if you make headlines, own it. Listen, do you think these people running around saying this shit about you for no reason? For a season? So you just thought somebody just woke up and just decided to just make all these rumors and all this gossip and saying all this shit. You just thought I just stopped fucking with you for no reason. No, baby. Again, if you make the headlines on it. This what you known for, brother. Sister, whatever the hell. This what you known for. Okay? And again, like it says, count on the numbers. To amount to something. If everybody is saying something about you. It got to be believable. Okay. Everybody ain't saying that shit about you for nothing. It's, it's going to add up to something. But it ain't, it's going to add up to something for somebody else. I ain't about to be here. <laughs> to find out you stealing and picking. And you ain't got shit. And you fucked up. And you mental health bitch. Get your dumb ass the fuck on somewhere. Bye. The fuck. No, ma'am, Miss Pam. I do not like green I said, Hold on. Divine Feminine said, I am too attractive for this. Just like you're attractive, I am just as attractive as you. I do not have to deal. I do not have to deal. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why God said, no, look at that healer card again. You see, she is taking the mask. She's taking the mask and the smock off. It's like I'm taking off the fucking healer. I can't do this one. Uh-uh. And again, it's like not feeling pressure to feel like you got to heal and help everybody. I'm not, I don't have, do you have enough money to pay? You said you had enough money to pay for my services. Now you lied now. You lied now. 
Now, I ain't about to keep giving you this goddamn shit for free. Y'all gonna have to pay some shit. Listen, you got the seven of swords. You got the seven of swords. So, again, with the five of pentacles and the seven of swords card, you have to protect yourself. And, again, remember the camera is right here. The seven of swords is, like, basically telling you that you need to upgrade your security system. Like, you might have, like, an outdated system or, uh, it's like you may need to upgrade your technology. You may need to get a new camera that has, because for some reason I feel like someone's camera is fuzzy. I don't know if this person has seen your security system and knows if I come around this side, it's not at a good angle. Plus, the vision is blurry and shit. They're not going to be able to see me anyway. So, this is someone that I really do feel like thinks that they know you, think that they've analyzed you. And again, the Seven of Swords is a thief card. So, again, there is someone that is trying to do some type of theft, robbery. I don't know if they're trying to get some type of information. I don't know. Because the Pentacles in the Swords, that can mean someone trying to gain some type of information, like disguising themselves as a friend, as an ally, as a lover. Um, again, like I said, it's like trying to steal something, trying to maneuver in a way where you wouldn't expect it. The Seven of Swords means security, an alarm. Like the Seven of Swords in in this in this angle right here means someone is getting away with some treacherous, devious. Uh, deceitful behavior, either lying, uh, it's like falsifying paperwork, documents, um, it's like trying to hide their record so someone can't see their criminal record or something. I really do feel like someone needs to look into someone. It could be someone that is like because what this is showing me, someone like you invited around your family that was like very close up to you. Y'all watch this because I'm definitely getting like someone stealing. I don't know if it's like identity theft or something. Like if you got anything with your social security numbers on it, any banking information, any fucking thing Watch that shit. Turn your cameras on. Make sure shit is like, do you understand? Because this person knows how to do whatever without getting caught. Or they think that they know you good enough. Or they know your technology, your equipment enough that they can get by and do this without being detected. You know what I'm saying? In the reverse, this person will be getting caught. This person is not getting caught. My advice to you again is security system. Get you a ring. That shit is very fucking clear. Make sure that your Wi-Fi is together. Make sure that you got your cameras on all fucking angles. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because whoever this is needs to go to jail if there's someone trying to steal from you. Whoever this is is very deceptive. And they think that you trust them. And they think that they... They think that they can manipulate you. And they can maneuver around you in a way where... You can't... Uh, it's, it's like you can't pick up on their level of deceit. It's like they, it's like you think that they're your friend or you think that they're your... No. No. The five of swords up there, that's shame, that someone's definitely planning on stabbing you in the back. Definitely planning on stabbing you in the back. You need to watch yourself. And again, with that two of swords being there, watch what you tell the motherfuckers. Please be careful of when you're meeting people. You never know who's in the state of lack. You never know. You never know. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because, like, if you look at this woman, she gives off this perception like she is abundant. She has the little peacock feather, nice coat, and all of that shit. Bitch, you don't know all of that shit was stolen, too, from her last victim. She's around these people, this nice, loving family, and all of this shit telling these motherfuckers all of these lies. She don't like these motherfuckers. And she's just listening with these two swords, just taking and soaking in all that information. So when she's, when they last, when they're not looking, because they, she know that they ain't got their security system, she's probably distracting them while one of her homeboys is coming up around the back stealing shit. 
a distraction. This could be people that work as a team or some shit. Like, I'm so sorry. And this woman looks attractive. She looks innocent. She looks like she got money. Why would she steal from you? Bruh. Whew. Lord Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. Give me guidance for the divine feminine. Let's close out this love situation. Again, it just keeps saying deceptive, thief. Step up the security system. Make sure that you're always watching this person. Like, you gotta watch these motherfuckers. Like, this person, this person is a magician in the reverse. They know how to use their power and their skills and their abilities. And they do it for all, they use it for the wrong thing. Is this like somebody that you got the Queen of Wands right here? Okay. Let me get one more card here. The Queen of Wands is like this person. Um again, um, I'm getting extreme beauty. And I don't know if this is like a lesbian relationship as well. Um, this is someone that has extreme beauty and they're saying hypnotism. Like she knows how my bad it's like this person knows how to use their beauty um i feel like this person has a beautiful hair or like they the hair always be on point or something like that it's like their hair their makeup their clothes everything is just well put together a very beautiful person i feel like this person is very nice she's a go-getter and all of that stuff like that i don't know if this is your energy or if this is the person that you're dealing with let's see what do we get here we got the four pinnacles in the reverse again and then we got the judgment in the reverse this is you so again so this is basic because you got the same thing again Look, you see this person running away with the money. In an upright, the four of pentacles is someone being stingy, someone holding back. Again, it's like, I feel like, and with the judgment card in the reverse, it's just showing me like a lack of judgment, like something is not going to go. I don't know if this is your your way or the other person's way but i feel like somebody is learning something from some type of lack of judgment and over giving and trusting and and thinking that everybody is as nice and has this beautiful spirit and i feel like this is someone going off of appearances or something because someone seemed nice they looked nice they looked generous they looked this, whoever this was, was just looking for you to give every goddamn thing and for them to run and take off with every penny. It's like, this is someone that they're only around a scammer. It's like they're only around while they can achieve and gain something off of you. As soon as your well has run dry, this person has ran off. And that's where that judgment card comes in, 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 in the reverse. Because it's like, remember when I was saying something? It's like you're not able to show up in the way that you wanted to. Because it's like you gave it all away. It's like you're still beautiful and all of that stuff like that. But without your charm, without your gift, without your resources, you can't just get by in life with just beauty. You got to be able to show up in life like the judgment card. It's like you not being able to reach your calling because you gave something away. It's like you gave all of it away where it's like you don't even have enough for yourself or you allowed someone to steal from you. It's like the average person had your bank account information and they emptied that shit or something. It was like something was too accessible for someone to grab it was like a smashing grab or something like that but the four pinnacles in the reverse it's like you gave it to them it's like you gave it to them it's like you trusted people with information and that was lack of fucking judgment it's like you don't trust people that you really don't know like that you cannot just go off of appearances and perception 
Do you understand what I'm saying, Divine Feminine? So, I, again, I want someone to watch their fucking money. Watch who you're giving to. Watch who you are allowing around you just because they're attractive and things like that. Like, please. Yeah. Yeah. You got to make balanced decisions. And again, step up your security system. I don't know why I feel like it's somebody stealing something from you. Anyway, I got to go to Bob Feminine. Um, y'all let me know how this resonated for y'all down in the comment section. Please let me know. Um, yeah, I'm gone. <laughs> Peace.